What? Michael, pay attention. I could have swore we had three geese. You got another fucking goose. Well, but... You got another fucking goose. <laughs> but here's the thing. I really didn't think you would notice. <laughs> like you did it for a long time. Like, yeah. For a long, for a long time. Until they were all right there. Yeah. You were just staring at them. And but, then you go. Know. Well, three looks different than four. <laughs> well, but it was kind of, it was sort of like, it was like, a, it was like a thing. Oh, it's a thing, all right. We're eating freaking goose for Christmas. Hey guys, welcome to TCR. Sid here, thanks for clicking on the video. If you haven't done so already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. It's processing day. Today, it's time to talk turkey. <laughs> We've been raising our own turkeys here for about uh, six years now. We've got the last of my midget white stock, which is a heritage breed. I've got four Jennies left that we're going to be doing, and they're a lot smaller. Uh, they end up being kind of like a large chicken or a small duck, usually right around the eight to nine pound range once they're dressed out. So their meat tends to be a little bit darker, uh, even their breast meat, and it is definitely more flavorful. They are one of my favorite turkey breeds for that reason and because they're really docile. Not that any turkeys are really super aggressive, but they're just really chill and they tend to be really good uh, at hatching out their own eggs and just being good parents in general. So that's kind of been a pro as far as keeping them for stock. I do have a few hatchery birds left that are uh, broad-breasted whites that we're gonna be processing out as well. Definitely got a later start today than we planned. Things happened, life goes on, so let's get to it. I didn't get that. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> I was like, well, I couldn't get the door freaky. left. <laughs> All right, well, Mike missed it because he was jerking around with the door, but I caught a bird. So, <laughs> I don't believe you. I think it surrendered. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> All right, guys, so this is obviously gonna be edited for YouTube. We do process our own meat. That means taking live animals and making them ready for your table. If you don't like that, stop watching now. The full version will be available on our Patreon channel. So check that out if you wanna see the whole thing. So I always hold the neck after I do any birds just to make sure that they don't pull their neck up and staunch the bleeding. It just kind of helps things move along a little bit faster I feel like so I always do that until I'm sure it's mostly bled out this is very normal kind of little death seizures that they have his muscles are kind of seizing up and stuff totally normal she's pretty much gone right now so it doesn't take very long and that's it it's lights out so while you're letting them kind of rest under here I couldn't find the lid for this pot so I improvised with some wood here but uh, you've got your scalding pot here and for turkeys, uh, same thing with our ducks, I like the water to be a little bit hotter. So I usually aim for more like 160 um, because they've got so much down. These particular breed of turkeys, these midget whites, they have a lot of down. So if you don't put some Dawn dish soap in there and have the water just a little hotter than you would if you were just doing chickens, you're gonna have a really hard time plucking them uh, if you're doing it all by hand. So, which we are because these guys are all too big for our plucker. You do want to make sure you've got that going on and uh, that's really all you need to make sure you can get this done. What, Michael, pay attention. I could have swore we had three geese. You got another fucking goose. Well, but. You got another fucking goose. <laughs> you've been caught. We had three geese. Uh, but, but it's a long story. <laughs> I want the short version of it. We got another goose. But it was like a while ago. It was while we were on vacation. <laughs> Freaky. But here's the thing. I really didn't think you would notice. <laughs> well, three looks different than four. <laughs> well, but it was kind of, it was sort of like, it was like, a, it was like a thing. Oh, it's a thing, all right. We're eating freaking goose for Christmas. <laughs> now the goose is on the table. <laughs> it's not what you're thinking, though. What am I thinking? Was, I know what you How do those geese taste? That's exactly no. what I'm thinking. All right, so now, take my little lid off here. It should still be good. All 
I also scald these guys a little bit longer than I do with the chicken uh, because, because of all that down. And then you just pluck. I usually start with the, the parts that are hardest to do where the, the quills tend to stick a little bit. It's usually the wings and the legs. She's one of my older girls here. This one's gonna be burger. Yeah, she's uh, several seasons old. In fact, a lot of the poults that I've hatched out over the years are from this this lady. All right, so now that we caught the turkey and have scalded it and plucked it, Mike is gonna go through a quick uh, disembowelment and evisceration. I'll just uh, take and slice right up the neck, right under the skin. Far enough, look at that beautiful fat. But what I'm looking for is the crop. And I'm gonna find that crop and figure out how to disconnect it from the chest. Whoops. Tore it, that's all right. All right, then pull this neck. You can see the body shape on these midgets. They're a little bit more elongated, more similar to like a duck. And you can see that their, their meat, even their breast meat, has more of like a bluish tinge to it. It's just darker, they're just darker meat all the way around. So see how I'm kind of pulling the, the skin and the fat back away from the neck. I'm gonna get back here as far as I can. A little esophagus here, free that up. I'm gonna get back as far on the neck as I can and peel that fat back. I wanna leave that fat on the bird. There we go, get that neck out. All right, then we're gonna spin it around and... Right above the cloaca. There's a lot of fat right there too that I wanna keep. I'm gonna give it a pinch. Always cut towards yourself. Look at that. Look at all that fat. So I'm just kind of mining through the fat until I find guts. There they are. And uh, the first thing I feel right there is a big old gizzard. I'm just kind of breaking some connective tissues in there so that this stuff will come out. So now what I want to do is I want to try to pull that whole intro pile out onto the table. Empty the cavity. Heart right here, there it is. Okay, so once I got those out, some of that good fat, keep that. What I wanna do is I don't wanna just cut this whole chunk off back here, because there's a bunch of good fat in there. So what I like to do is slice it right up the middle like this and kind of spread it all the way down to the cloaca and then just cut a circle kind of around the cloaca and pulling it out. And I'm leaving as much of that fat there as I can. Okay. Gizzard that's covered in fat. We've got some kidneys here, we want those. Somewhere attached to these kidneys is a bile sac, there it is. Find that and be careful around it. If any green bile comes out on the table while you're cutting that, throw away everything that touched it all right there we go that's all trash the tail here what I do is I cut the tail off and I'll just cut through the protein and fat and then when I get down to the bone just snip it remove these feet those go in the crock pot Pigs love those. Everything that's going in the crock pot goes over there. The esophagus didn't come out the other way, so we'll take it out the top. 
All right, now we got some lungs in there we gotta get out. They're up in the rib cage, we'll find those. You don't wanna leave your lungs in your bird when you cook it because they got a, they got a stink to them. Buried under some of that fat, there's a couple of kidneys. And the way you're gonna find those is just press straight down into the little cavity there and pull backwards and scoop as you do it and the kidneys come out. You want to get those out because they got a little bit of a smell to them also but we put them in the pile that's going to the pigs all right the pig crock pot if there you we will. go that bird is just needs a good rinse now yep ready to rinse neck back in there and put it all put it right in the, in the ice there we go we got we did one duck that we breasted out earlier, so that's what's in there, but there we go. Gizzard. Mm -hmm. And slice it open. Leave all that fat on there. See that? We're gonna get rid of all that. There's like a yellow membrane on the inside of this gizzard. It's kind of like a biohazard suit. Protects the protects the gizzard from the chemicals and process that's happening in here. We're gonna peel that yellow membrane out and everything with it. and then give it a rinse. So we're gonna take these livers and this gizzard and keep those, and put them in the ice here. Yeah, he got me good. Yeah. So wanna go to marinade for dinner? <laughs> no, I'm, I'm pretty blood soaked. That's it guys, that's how we process our birds out. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and click the bell for the notifications. We'll see you guys next time.